Hello and welcome! In this video, we will discuss some of the control types that are part of the Add Local Sizing task in ANSYS Fluent Meshing Watertight Workflow. We will learn about implementing edge, face and body sizing during the meshing process and explore how each of these influences the final computational mesh using an example. So, what is local sizing? In the context of creating a computational mesh, local sizing refers to the set of instructions related to mesh sizing the user gives to the meshing algorithm to generate the mesh. The instructions can be applied to specific parts of the geometry or localized regions, and hence the name local. Local sizing is extremely helpful at the surface mesh levels to ensure that all the necessary geometrical features are appropriately resolved. It is also required at the volume mesh level to not only capture the fluid flow features that occur over a wide range of land scales, but also resolve strong gradients in the flow field, such as in the wake of an object. Let's analyze and compare three local sizing controls edge, face, and body sizing, through an example. Start a new watertight workflow in fluent meshing. In the Import Geometry task, locate and select the geometry file for this demo. Once the geometry is successfully imported, turn on Insert Clipping Planes in the Clipping Plane section of the ribbon and select Limit by Z. We can now see the inside of our geometry, where we have three square boxes enclosed by a larger box. This is a handy tool that helps in looking inside closed boundaries. In the Add Local Sizing task, by default, the Would you like to add local sizing option is set to No. Changing this to Yes enables you to define local sizing controls. In the Add Local Sizing section, under Size Control Type, select Face Size. This control type lets the user specify the size of the mesh that is applied on the selected surfaces of the geometry. This is specified in the Target Mesh Size input box. In our case, let's use 1 mm. Note that all local sizing control types are soft sizing, meaning that the target mesh size value defines the maximum mesh size for the selected surface or region. It is possible for the mesh to be smaller than the target size, depending on other sizing settings. Let us select the body to faces surface. Notice that the boxes are overlaid onto this selected surface in the graphic window. This is the dynamic preview of the target mesh size that will be imposed on the surface because of employing face size control. As you change the target mesh size, the sizes of the boxes also change accordingly. You can use the Clear Preview button to erase the size boxes and select the target mesh size input box to redraw them. To entirely stop the dynamic preview, uncheck the Draw Size Boxes option. The final option that we need to discuss here is the growth rate. Growth rate defines the rate at which the mesh size increases away from the selected entity. This parameter becomes critical when generating the volume mesh. The default value of 1.2 is sufficient for most problems. However, for accurately resolving certain flow phenomena, like laminar turbulent transition, or when performing scale resolved simulations like LES, it is recommended to use a growth rate of 1.1 or less. Since we have defined all the necessary settings, click on Update to confirm the local sizing control. 
Let us now discuss the edge size and body size controls. As the name suggests, edge sizing refers to a local sizing control that is specified on the edges of the geometry, and body sizing refers to the local sizing control that is specified on bodies or closed volumes. The edge sizing control is only visible when there are name selections that have been defined for one or more edges of the geometry. Other than the difference in the type of entity being picked, all other options and settings are identical to the face size control. However, the impact each of these controls will have on the surface and final volume mesh is different. Note that you can define as many local sizings as needed on different surfaces or regions with different settings and of different control types. In the workflow, add two more local sizing controls, an edge sizing for body one edges region and a body sizing for body three body region, both with a target mesh size of one millimeter. Now that the three controls are defined, go to the Generate Surface Mesh task, leave all the settings to default and click Generate Surface Mesh. Here is the surface mesh you should obtain. Body 1 shows a starkly different mesh distribution compared to Body 2 and Body 3. This is simply because the local sizing is specified only for the edges of this body. At the surface mesh level, the influence of both face and body sizing looks identical. Let us now go through the workflow and create a volume mesh. Other than changing the geometry type to the geometry consists of both fluid and solid regions and or voids in the described geometry task, you can keep the default settings and values for the rest of the tasks and just click update in each one of them. In the generate the volume mesh task, select polyx core for the fill width option and then click the generate the volume mesh button. Here is the generated volume mesh. Now you can vividly see the difference between the three sizing controls. The edge size and face size controls have the mesh clustered only near the edges and the faces, respectively. Whereas, because of applying the body size control, all the cells inside body 3 have been created with the same cell size. We can also notice the effect of the growth rate by looking at how the local sizing propagates inside and outside the cubes. By using a lower value, like 1.1 in all local sizings, we can see how the transition gets delayed. Let us now summarize what we learned in this video. We understood the concept of local sizing controls and dug into the details of how to define the edge, face and body sizing controls inside the ANSYS fluid meshing water type workflow. Using an example, we saw how the edge and face sizing have an indirect effect on the volume mesh and how the body sizing has a direct impact.